you know, we, we, are, we live in this increasingly anxious world. I think that's, everyone's increasingly anxious and they're anxious on these two fronts in particular, economic and environmental. And the real challenge is to find solutions that address these two problems or sets of challenges simultaneously. And, and we, you know, we're optimistic in the sense that we, we do think the policies and the institutions are out there, but it's really very much a matter of political will and leadership. And, and you know, that, given this current state of the world, we are worried about that because, you know, on several fronts, and particularly the multilateral front, we're not getting leadership. In fact, in, in many respects, we're going in the opposite direction that we need to go in. I, and I think, I think the international community needs to stop fixating on the idea that, you know, the private sector will bail us out here. And, and we, we use the New Deal historical parallel for a reason. I mean, it's not, a, it's not an accidental choice of metaphor that we, we, that we talk about a global green New Deal because there's a clear reference to what was done in the 1930s and 40s in the United States, but not only in the United States, where it was, it was recognized that to deal with not only dangerous economic problems, but dangerous political problems, that the public sector had to take the lead. And we need to recover that spirit of the old New Deal if we're to deliver on a global Green New Deal in the 21st century.